try the apple. It's not poisonous, or is it? What's up, hackers? It's Goldie Blocks. And as you can see, I love Halloween. And decorating for Halloween is so much fun. I go crazy, and I'm obsessed with Halloween. <laughs> so today's video is all about Halloween decor. Time to spook your world. Started. Wait, I think something's missing. <sighs> it's like I'm in Ghostbusters. <laughs> Who do you call Ghostbusters? And she's out. Something else is missing. <gasps> Glow eyes. <laughs> I see you. They're meant to scare people. Just imagine like, sticking this into like someone's room and just like having it watch them all night. I feel eyes on me and then they like, turn around like, ah! Ah! Little eyes everywhere that kind of looks like bats just like staring at you. There we go. Glow eyes. Ah. For this DIY, we'll need some cardboard tubes, a craft knife, black paper tape, and glow sticks. First, take your cardboard tube and cover it with tape. Now, cut out the eyes. To get started, I'm using an awl to poke a hole first. I didn't use a pattern, I just kind of freehanded mine. They don't have to be perfect. All right, time to make them glow. Just snap your glow sticks and put them inside. Glow sticks are so cool. Inside are two compartments with chemical solutions. When you snap them, the chemicals mix together and react with each other, which makes them glow. Now make a bunch of them and hide them all over the place. Okay, that's terrifying. Do you know what these remind me of? Like, you know in like horror movies when they go into that creepy cave because they're trying to get away from the monster and then they have all these red or like a different color beady eyes staring at them and they're like, oh no. And then it's like, bats. And then they're like running out of the cave. And then like the weird sidekick gets like eaten by a bat or something. I feel so bad for that poor little sidekick. He's like, he's trying to help and then he just gets eaten first. Or like the little blonde girl that's like, oh my God, I'm the vixen. And then she's like dead because she's in heels. I feel like I would be the last one to die because I'd be like, I'm going to hack your world. <laughs> this next hack incorporates two of my most favorite things, glow-in-the-dark and slime. Glow-in-the-dark slime. Let's try it with the lights off. Okay. The way this works is you basically have to charge all the glow-in-the-dark molecules that's in the paint that you mix with the slime, and it holds the charge for maybe like 45 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. So you just have to charge it with the artificial light or sunlight, and it glows. For this DIY, you'll need clear glue, liquid starch, and glow-in-the-dark paint. That's basically it. First, start with water in two separate bowls. Next, add about four ounces of glue. This is a five ounce bottle, so I just left a little bit inside. Now add three tablespoons of glow paint. Glow paint is made out of these things called phosphors, which radiates light after being energized. In another bowl, add a third cup of hot water and add a half a cup of liquid starch. The hot water helps to dilute the starch so it's nice and smooth. Drizzle a little starch at a time and stir it constantly. See it congealing? When it's a good consistency, you can start kneading it with your hands. The longer you leave it out, the more rubbery it gets. Wait, that sounds so good. Wait, ready? Have you ever looked at Punch and said, that needs fruit faces in it? Because me too. Fruit face punch. Yeah. For this DIY, you'll need fruit, plastic forks, a fruit scooper, candy, and your favorite punch. 
Start by cutting your fruit in half, which helps them float better. I found the apples work best, since they're the most symmetrical. I use a little fruit scooper to make the eyes. Break the points off your plastic forks to make teeth. made all these faces, so now let's put it all in the punch. One floating head for you, one creepy head for you. Oh my goodness, she's tipping upside down. Guess her eyes are so heavy. Well, she's just gonna be upside down. It's fine. Look how cute this is! Ah! Cute, creepy, that is. There's a little apple, and what a ghoulish surprise that is. It's gorgeous. And scene. I hope you guys like these Halloween decor hacks. Also, What's your favorite? My favorite was obviously the glow stick eyes. Oh yeah. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to be part of the Goalie Squad. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyment's good. Bye guys, Goalie Blocks signing off. Yay. <laughs> Scaring people on Halloween is so much fun to me. I don't know why. Maybe that's bad. I think scaring people is fun. Honestly, pop scares. Like people hiding behind things, just popping out at people. 10 out of 10, would recommend.